our inspections quite a lot of successful uh, opportunities for people to use music to enhance the emotional well-being, the quality of life of people who are living in care homes. And, and that ranges from uh, people kind of joining in with communal singing, um, actually creating their own music. I, I went and I joined in in a session where people had all sorts of different instruments and they were creating their own music. And they were so engaged and so kind of in the moment happy. It was fantastic to see. So what we have seen, and, and actually what the evidence base tells us, is that if you're involved in singing, taking part, and engaging in music in a really meaningful way, it could have such an impact on your emotional well-being, on your social well-being, the interactions that you have with other people, and just basically your quality of life. And what we all want people to have when they're living in a care home is a life which is meaningful and you know, it gives them joy and that's what music can do. What is absolutely fantastic about music is that regardless of how well you can sing, everybody can sing. So people who are working in care homes can engage in these activities and, and then do that when they're going about their basic job um, in terms of you know having a little sing at bedtime or you know when somebody is um, having a shower or a bath all of those things just kind of create a much better and closer connection between the people who are providing care and those people who are living in care homes so I think it makes your job better as well as making the people who are living in the care homes lives better. So one of the things that we're looking for when we are going into care homes is how well are they um, really creating a service which enables people to have a meaningful life, that actually helps them to have a good quality of life. And you're not doing it for the regulator, you're doing it for the people who are living there. And we can see that when those activities include music, include the engagement that music and singing can give, then actually we see services where the culture is good, where the, um, where the, kind of, um, the, the atmosphere is vibrant and positive, and those are the great services. See, is that if you've got you know, the professionals, the people like live music now, coming into your home, helping you to think about how you unlock the potential of you know, the music, the singing, how you can make sure that people are really engaging it, in it, you know, the residents as well as the people who are working in the service, that's when we can see some great care. One of the things that I think about is, you know, how do we spend our lives? How do we spend our lives before we get to a care home? And actually, we tend to spend a little bit of money on having a good time. And I don't see any reason why that should be different when you're living in a care home. And the other thing to think about is the impact that that can have on people. I know that when I'm kind of going off and going to a concert, and particularly if I can sing along to every song, how good I feel afterwards. So I reckon it's, it's, it's value for money, it's money well spent. CQC inspectors are going into care homes, one of the questions that we ask is, um, is the service responsive to people's needs? And what we're really looking for there is, does, does the care home understand what those needs are? And are they putting in place kind of activities and uh, all sorts of other things to make sure that those needs are being met? And we can see in lots of care homes that people who are thinking about that, thinking about the broader life, you know, seeing past the diagnosis that they might have, which is the reason why they're there, seeing past that diagnosis, seeing the person, making sure that they are responding to their needs. You know, and if that's music, then fantastic and we're going to be rating those services as good or outstanding because that's the kind of care that we'd want for ourselves, our loved ones, it's definitely meeting the mum test. What we're really looking for when we're going into care homes is 
how are they making sure that people are having a life, not a service? And when we see those services that really get that, really think about what it is that they can do to help and support people to have that meaningful life, then we're much more likely to be rating those services as outstanding than we are um, at any other rating. I think acquiring every care home is indeed a really important project for the care sector. A great resource for you, Acquiring Every Care Home. So that's www.acquiringeverycarehome.co.uk. I know that the arts are really important to me in my life. I love going to the theatre, I love cinema and I love music. I don't see why that should be any different when I'm old and it certainly shouldn't be different if I'm living in a care home.